Hello everybody, and welcome to the season finale here at Zen Joltis. After 29 rounds, we will conclude Season 4 of the NRSL Outback Series. We have already confirmed our champion, which is Kate Skirvin, but there's still one more race to go in the season. They're racing for pride, and they're racing for honor. One of these 42 drivers will win the final race of the season, we will be heading over to the Cup Series for this, where there will be like a six-man battle for the championship. And then from there, a little bit of a break, and then the NSRE Team Mobile Cup Series Season 2 will be coming very soon. So I hope you guys enjoy this finale as much as I do. Now, let's get John down the track side for the lineup. On the pole for today's race, Seth Cole made the chase this season. Okay season. Didn't have much of a chase. Been having such a good season, though, nonetheless. Second is Keith Batson. He's returning. Third in his final start in the honor cell, Joe Vanesto. We wish him the best on his future endeavors. Uh, it won't be the last for Dodge, hopefully. Uh, there may be another Dodge coming back, but if this is, this will be the last time Dodge will be in the season for Mr. Ernesto. Uh, fourth is Skirvin, the champion. Hard to believe she's already early a champion. Fifth, Colt. Sixth, Steve Pollard. 7th is Benjamin Miles, 8th Greg Jones, Ninth Justin Powell passes the final race he will be as a Season 3 champion, and he will hand over the crown to the female, Kate Skirvin, which is going to be really interesting there. And running at the top 10 is E.J. Curtis. Here's the rest of your starting lineup for the final race of Season 4 of the NRSL Outback Series here at Zinjolts. Austin Weiner in car number 12. We make it his final start in the NRSL. We also wish him the best of luck in his future endeavors. Because he is uh, retiring from NR. Hopefully he can, he can go out in a bang with one last run in the NRSL and nail a victory. He's also he's going to be in some other series like Walmart Cup Series, uh, Snickers Cup, I believe. And uh, there's a few others as well. But we do wish Weiner the best of future endeavors and all that. And going through here. And here comes the command final row, Lomitz and Rogers. The final time this season they give the command. And the pace car, the Dodge Charger. Let me roll on by. Zen Joltus, a 4.9 mega super speedway. Nearly 5 miles, a 4.920. There's all 42 cars. Self favorites. Zen Joltus. Why is it, you ask? The past three seasons in the Outback Series, they have proven a lot of great racing, great competition, and they show that they'll know how to do this track well. And soon there'll be three seasons in the Cup when the next race comes on by, which will be tomorrow. So, 16 laps here at Zendoltis. Fox Sports 1 picker is up. Pace car dives down the pit road. And for the final time this season, Seth Cole, Keith Batson are going to lead them down for the green flag here at Zenjoltis. Trust me, it won't be the last time you'll see that green flag waving because I guarantee you there's probably going to be a wreck knowing how the nature of this track is. Skirvin and Culp started very close with each other. Now Culp's going to pull ahead. Culp, I guarantee, is going to be very happy that uh, his girlfriend won the championship, and it will be a great feeling for that, for that duo right there. Maybe we'll see both of them in the Cup Series next season. Uh, we do know that 24 cars, I believe, maybe wrong on that number, but in the 20s somewhere, I believe 21 or 20, 22, something like that, maybe 24, I don't remember, but we do know from that that is confirmed to be returning or coming to the Cup Series at least in season th season four of the Cup Series. And wow, already nearly making some contact right there. Here comes Matthews, car number 85. Gonna go for the second position right there, but... You know why this is a crowd favorite? Look at this racing, oh boy! At least four or five wide, you can see. This track's got some amazing angles right there. Matthews, out in the lead. How would it be for Skirvin to win this race? 
That'd be adding insult into injury. And look at lap one, and look at the field right there. Oh, man, is this a view to see. Whether you were a chaser this season or non chaser. Oh, man, look at Seth trying to get going, trying to get out of that situation. And he will. Skirvin and Nelly had to be one of those one of those competitors that just proved to be the first multiple winner of any series and showed her dominance with the consistency she had and oh my god. Look at this pack. This is also the first season too. We've had multiple females win in one in one series. Jessica Sheldon and Kate Skirvin won a race this season. With at least one, so that's a good thing right there. These guys are just racing with pride. They know they're not going to win the championship unless your name's Skirvin, but may as well go all out in this finale, and they're going to go six wide for position. Six wide, folks. You are not hearing me wrong. They went six wide, and they're going to sell it back out to five. Look at the view of this pack. From this shot. This is why. Oh my goodness. Gotta go to the helicopter view because oh my god. Look at this. That's seven. That's seven wide we're seeing. Seven wide. I never thought I'd be able to see this again. Seven wide they were at a point. Look at this. Now they're back to six. As six Wiley, four rows deep, and there goes Skirvin, Cole, and a bunch of others. A big pileup on lap three. Cars around, Winers around. One car upside down, that's Chambers. I believe he's smoking. Curtis just said, fucking, I'm plowing. Matthews with damage. Oh my god. I knew there was going to be a wreck. Alan Cabagnaro is trying to get the lead from Stephanie Naylor, car number 44, which won the debut race of the season at Daytona. How would it be for Cabagnaro to win the first race of the season and the last race of the season? That would be quite an accomplishment right there. We've had some amazing feats that all three British drivers had won a race this season. Joshua Collar being the first, Nathan Hudson being the second, and then Sean Galligan. Amazingly, kind of got to win this season, and there, there they go, the cross and the stripe. Stephen Pollard the third's on pit road. He's going to be returning. Same for Devin Becker. Greg Jones, he's coming back. Jordan Culp, Seth Cole, Zachary Chambers smoking. Brody Talley involved. I believe Zachary, he may come back if he signs up next season. Brody Talley's coming back. Chris Washer, some damage there. EJ Curtis, got some damage. Benjamin Miles. Austin Weiner, I think he only spun around. He doesn't look like he has damage there. Skirvin, the championship. Peter, with some left side damage. He's obviously coming back next season. Onesto, final star, he's got left side damage. It's not good for the top match design. Dodge. Nunn. Matthews. I believe Kari's made it through fine. But caution is out. A big wreck taking place. Leaders Kevin Gnar. Let's take a look at that replay of that incident. Boy, is this a view or what? And this is why in ourselves like this track a lot. They went six wide. They were going seven wide at a point. Look at look at this. It had to be six wide right here through at least three rows. That is just amazing. And before in the first two seasons. Or excuse me, at least one season, first season, we were able to do five wide. Now all of a sudden they've been doing six wide right there. Contact, Washer, Batson, and then going into Skirvin was Becker, and then just a pile up going on in current. Oh, Clay Rogers just got clipped at the last second going to Pollard the third right there. Skirvin actually went airborne right there in the, in the 24. And then you just can't see a thing as of all the smoke. That's why we got to go to the helicopter mode and try to find. Wow, this is literally covered with smoke right there. There's Weiner, there's Chambers, there's a lot of guys that missed it that went to the uh, grass and apron there.
There's Brody. That's how him and Chambers got smoked up. And Chambers, not a good way to end his uh, season up. Going to go upside down, but he went upside down once. I thought he was going to go upside down twice or something, but whoa, that was weird. So, it's not a good thing right there. And there's some headlines right there. Austin Weiner, card number 12, get involved. He spun out, though. And Onesto's got some left side damage, so I don't think it'll affect him too much. But nonetheless, though, caution is out. Leader is Alan Cavagnaro. Let's take you back to the green. Welcome back to Zen Joltis. Drivers out of the race after the incident include the following. Uh, Devin Becker, Brody Talley, Zachary Chambers, Chris Washer, and DJ Curtis. Also, Kyle Matthews out of the race. Uh, Seth Cole, Jordan Cole, Greg Jones, St. Paul III are all two laps down. I believe they're still sitting in the... Okay, we know Seth Cole is still in the pits. And he has just exited out. Cole, Greg Jones, and St. Paul III came back out. Caleb Paris is trying to regroup with the field. So... This guy's got to get going, because, you know, that's thing they needs to be let down and all that stuff, and I just dropped something, but, um, give me just a second. I apologize, folks, something just fell. I was wondering what that was. Oh, there it was. Okay. <laughs> my apologies there, folks. Up and hit my chair. I didn't want to say anymore. Alec cavagnaro has got the lead. Snailer's second, third, Powers, fourth, James, fifth, Shelton. Sixth, Louvier, seventh, Hudson, eighth, Collar, ninth, Lamas, queen of top ten is Inch Navarro. And, uh, that's your top ten rundown. And I thought we were going back to green, but I guess not, because the lights were out, and now they're back on all of a sudden. So, uh, we'll take you back to the green once it's going to come out. Alright, so now after all that, all the rest of the drivers are caught up some because oh, uh, we're sorry at 9 to go, that's right, I was about to say, why aren't they double filed, but never mind, I'm not paying attention to lap time. Uh, we're going to go back to green at the halfway point here, having an early them down, and he's back out. Mason Powers immediately trying to go for the second position there, and I believe, other than Skirvin, I'm trying to think of who else was a two-time winner, but my memory is not coming to me correctly, because I guess it's the end of the season, but nonetheless, though, I would say if there's a person who get a three-time win, that'd be huge. I think, yeah, it was Powers, that was who that was, I believe that was, um, I believe it was Powers, but, um, nonetheless, though, he's actually trying to go to the inside for the second position, right behind him, Chris Sevier, card number 14, I have not worried about his return, I think he's probably going to return in the 14. We know Lamas is returning, um, not Lamas, uh, yeah, <laughs> Powers is returning to the 25 wire. Oh man, look at five wide, Nathan Hudson just shot through the middle, splitting the gap, that was a very gutsy call by the Shorelock Chevy Camaro right there. I don't know if Naylor wasn't getting going or something, but man, did Hudson get going. Actually, I think Alec Cavagnaro's got a problem. Because, man, he has been falling back like a rock. I think, oh, he's down a cylinder. A 44 has broke a cylinder. Oh, man, Alan Cavagnaro. Man, this has been a season in a nutshell here. I'm about to say something's wrong there. What the hell happened? guys are going at least 220, and he's only going like, okay, I don't know if he caught it back up or something, but, um, okay, the, I, I didn't know that, I thought he broke a cylinder or something, but meanwhile, Nathan Hudson, <laughs> where did that two car come from, he's going to go for the lead, surprisingly enough, he's only the fifth fastest car, Jeff James, who's the leader right now, is the fastest car on track. It was, was this before his fastest lap? No, it wasn't. I thought it was. Holy cow, though! Um, I think it's safe to say... Oops. I think it's safe to say, though, Nathan Hudson has got the fastest car right now. If, when they cross the stripe and all that. Benjamin Miles is already up the pace. Culp is. Are the third. I believe... 
Yeah, Seth Cole, Kate Sturman, Momo Kari, Sean Galligan, Pine Mountain, Greg Jones, just Finesto. Austin Weiner is barely hanging on to this pack. He knows he's in his final ever race in NR for the NRSL, and you know what? He wants to end it with a bang. He better hope that bang better not be going into someone, because way out of the race, and I think that probably may happen. About 25 cars that's in this pack. He's in the 26th position. He needs to follow Preston Plourd if he were able to catch up to that pack. He's actually a little bit faster than Plourd without the draft. He's just trying to reel in. I think he's going to, though. I, I don't think he's not going to miss out. And I think, you know, he's really, really reeled him in. So snap on four, maybe the last car balling up there. Because Onesto, yeah, he's lost it. He's only going 202, and Weiner's at least going 220. He's 20 miles an hour faster. Hudson, still out in front. Trying to become a two-time winner this season. Trying to end his season on a high note. Chase wasn't his best, but you know, he was pretty good at a point, but Skirvin had that consistency, and just once Hudson had a bad finish, Skirvin would just capitalize, and just, man, did he prove her, did he get proved wrong this season? But, mm. And what was funny was that, besides his win at Indianapolis this season, Hudson was so... Undetermined, like no one would have thought Hudson would be in the chase and all that stuff. And look at how well the season he had. Austin Talley in the second position, though, trying to get his win. All over the shoreline, Chevy. Chevy is actually one-two right now. And look who is running third, Justin Talapas, season three champion. He knows he wants to end on the bank. Has yet to win as the champion. Now last season, the drivers who won a championship the season before managed to win their championships. Eugene Max, which was in Season 3 for the Outback Series, and then Season 2, uh, who was it in that one? That was, uh, oh, it was the one before, Anthony Emery. Since then, this season, Washer is yet to win. Same goes for Justin Talapas. Talapas has just had a horrid season. Washer had a decent season, he just couldn't get that oomph to get up there to get in the chase, but he hasn't had the best of seasons, though. Powers now going to the lead, and actually, I made a mistake. Mason Powers is a two-time winner. He won also at Texas this season in a chase race there, so my apologies there. My memory's not as well thinking, so he'd be the only three-time winner, and hard to believe also he's a three-time winner in the Cup Series. Man, did him, Kyle Keith, and Jackie Tang prove a lot of people wrong. Him and Kyle Keith, though, Mason Powers, they have just... They made their statements very well known in the NRSL. They made that transition from, or, uh, well, Keith, rather, made the transition from Nero to NRSL, made it very well. Powers, he's actually just starting off in NR. Hasn't had much, came in NRSL, came as a very well newbie, shocked the world, won three races in Cup, one at Phoenix, one at Chicagoland, and then one at Daga two races later. Uh, in this series, he's only won, you know, a race in the regular season, like in the first... 10 races, I believe it was. And then he won a chase race at Texas. He's been actually pretty quiet. You know, he wasn't as much of a of a good top-notch driver, but, he, you know, he took over for uh, what was then Cody Hagen in the 25 in this car. And look at him right now, just having a great run right now. Look at Lamas going 5 wide, nearly 6 wide behind. And I believe, yep, if we have a caution at any point now, the race is going to be over under caution. Looks like Austin Mongol, car number 21, as you can see, he's actually losing the pack a little bit. This winder's back in. Mongol made the chase at a, at a good regular season. The chase, though, he fell apart and was finishing so poorly, he was eliminated early as far as chase race 7. That was how bad he was of a season. Despite getting a chase win just a little too late and just too many bad finishes. And I believe he actually broke a cylinder. No, actually, he's just... Something happened. Did he hit the wall? No. Okay, then. Still precariously, it's there. Weiner's barely hanging on the pack as well. They're still going about five wide right, though. It's good that they're not going six. And Benjamin Miles in the 98, he is rounding off the final turn 
they are on turn number two, so I don't think they will catch the 98 of Miles, but you never know, stranger things can happen. The last lap was a 131-371. Their last lap was a 121-448, so at least 10 seconds faster! Talabas got clipped! And he did not have Paris! And we got a wreck! There goes Jeff James, he's gonna go upside down in car number 54. Wild tumble for the Monster Energy Toyota Camry. And he continues to barrel roll down the, down the backstretch, and he is going to land on four wheels. Levi McIntyre involved. Aw, oh, man, not a good way for Telepass. And they're racing it back to the line, and Cody Lamas, car number 22. Brad Kozlowski, Joey Logano car, is going to come off to the front stretch. He's going to lead them down under caution. Wild tumble for Jeff James in number 54. What a way to end the season there. And Kate Skirvin, like I mentioned before, he fell back as far as 37th, but Unnelly is still going to win the championship no matter what. McIntyre just trying to limp to the finish line. He's barely going to beat Greg Jones. Oh, McIntyre fell back badly. And I believe... Oh, Greg Jones is a lap down, I was about to say. McIntyre with damage right there is 25th. I think he's going to be going down pit road and repairing it, so I don't think he's going to be finishing that spot. Austin Liner's final race in the NRSL will be 22nd. Now past 23rd is the champion. Onesto finished 26th. Oh, man. Cody Lamas. I mean, one happy guy. He won to buy this season. And he's going to be a two-time winner this season. Caution's out. Let's take a look at that wild tumble, the final flip, and the final ever caution of season four. Let's go take a look. How to describe Justin Talapas' season in one word. Awful. As a champion. Well, as a champion, awful. Caleb Paris, chaser right there, turns Talapas right into Henry Sanford, in the Collard, in the Steve Pollard, in the Jeff James. Hudson's going to avoid. And then Pollard, oh wow, Weiner does a good job missing that. James pounds the wall back in, kind of like how Brad Kozlowski did it in Nationwide, but only one problem though, James just, you know, flat out lost the car, and he's just going to go for tumbles right there, it's the car number 54. And let's see, there's one, two, and this is where he's going to get some tumbles there, three, four, Five and starting to slow down, but he'll still go for some t uh, flips though. Six, seven, eight, and then he's gonna be on the side right there, and he's gonna land on four wheels as the Monster Energy Toyota Camry, and we'll take an onboard with a few drivers there. The final onboard's a season four right there, but. Not a good way for James to end the season right there. That's not what he was looking for, but uh, neither could be the same for Levi McIntyre right there or Steve Pollard. He managed to win the race, though. But that goes the story there for Talon Pass right there. Just He has had such a horrible season. I do hope he comes back next season, signs up and all, but uh, if, we, if we see him return, that'd be awesome. If he doesn't, uh, I'm going to be heartbroken, but you know what? Uh, sometimes stuff like that can happen, but uh, uh, Talon Pass, I hope you come back, man. That'd be good. You see right there, Cody Lamas had a lead over the front pack, and, well, you can tell right there. Once the caution was out, that was Cody's best friend right there, and that was well-deserved. Caution is out. Cody Lamas is the leader. Let's go take some onboards, and we'll take you to the final white flag and uh, checker flag of the season. He got clipped. That's how we wondered uh, what happened to Austin Mongol and Austin Weiner. We wanted to show that real quickly before we do our onboard with Austin Weiner. Now let's get to it right now. Come on, Lauren, and this is the view we saw. Well, you we got some good Allstate Good Hands Driver Award right there, and what a way to do it in your final season. You may not get a win, but you'll get a good award, though. Wow, despite getting hit there, he makes a good save and a good recovery, but 
still finish pretty poorly. Hang on your seat to this ride. And there he goes landing on four wheels. Jeff James is going to be the victim of the final crash of the season. Let's take you to the white flag and the checkered. As you can see, the pace car lights are still on as we are on lap 16. And uh, there's no confirmation of any drivers out until now with Jeff James and Levi McIntyre. I don't think they're going to finish. Actually, they will finish at Apollo 3rd. Jordan Culp, Seth Culp, and Greg Jones right there. But no matter what, because the pit road is after the start finish line, it's safe to say Cody's got this in the bags. Cody Lamas has had a rather average season. Consistency all that mattered. He would have loved to got a victory. He managed to do it. Got a victory at Dubai. Made the chase regularly. Had a good performance. Fell apart. Chase races 7 and 8. And then just couldn't capitalize on 9. And off the final turn, Cody Lamas, car number 22. With Ford sweeping the top four, and actually also finishing sixth with a Toyota in fifth, and a Chevy in seventh, Lamas is going to win. And your season four champion officially now will belong to Kate is like she is your season four NRSL Outback Series champion. Congrats to Skirvin on the champion, and congrats to Lamas on the victory. And as also mentioned, Austin Weiner in car number 12, in his final start, will finish in the 22nd position. Not too far behind Joseph Finesto in his final NRSL start. Maybe for now, we may see him back again in the future, we're not sure. He'll finish 25th, but we do know one driver who's not be coming back next season. And it'll be for good, though, is Weiner. We do wish Austin the best on his future endeavors, no matter what will happen. Best of luck to you, Austin. We're down on it. Stay strong. Stay safe. There's still other series you will see that name into, and I believe they ran out of gas. I don't know what happened. Did uh, everybody run out of gas? They did. Everybody ran out of gas. Um, okay then. All righty. Either that or they all just stopped it. Yeah, they're out of gas. Okay. So, that's the randomness that's happened there. Craig Jones is actually still running somehow. Somehow he is. Where's, where's the 11? Oh, and now he's out. <laughs> well, so much for that. But, um... Let's find the 22. Actually, funny enough, he actually started in the 41st position to the Lamas there. So... We wrap up our time at Zen Joltis. As you see. I guess uh, they're making fuel so that way they can go around one more time. Um, I have no idea why, but... Okay, then the logic is real. Skirvin, obviously going to get her pace lap out there as a champion. Which is a good thing right there. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like this race, be sure to give it a like, comment, and eat this hot this race. Subscribe, be a part of the NRSL. Uh, we'll put this here for you guys. But uh, there you see your top ten. Lamas, Fisher, Batson, Rogers, Cavagnaro, Naylor, Austin, Talley, Navarro, Powers, Hudson, your top ten. Qualls, Jackson, Louvier, Dalio, Collard, Shelton, Henry, Samper, Harris, Mongol, Plord, Ash, Curtis, Weiner, Talon Pass, Pollard, Onesto, Naughton, Galligan, Akari, uh, Skirvin, and Miles all finished the race on the lead lap. Uh, Jones, Cole, Culp, and Pollard the third. All in up two laps down from 32nd on down to 35th. Levi McIntyre on down to Jeff James, Matthews, DJ Curtis, Washer, Chambers, Brody Talley, and Devin Becker all out of the race of of the season finale at Zen Joltis. We'll get to see most of these guys return. I don't know who exactly, but um, we do know some are going to be coming back. And for some, we don't know, but we do know... You know, for a fact that, that we will see some, we'll see some of our veterans return. 
Uh, some rookies will now be veterans and all that, so you won't see the R if you're going to come back in your name and all, and you come back and all that stuff. Kate, um, once you get this video, uh, please message me of what car you would like to have next season. I probably will be staying with this car, uh, with the same car set because I can't find any 2015 Nishimai cars as of this very moment of the recording. So unless I magically find them, but um, please let me know if you want to stay in 24, want to go to a different one, and let me know as soon as possible. So other than that, thank you guys for watching. Till then. We will see you for the Cup Race here at St. Joltis. But as far as the Outback Series, Kate Skirvin, the champion, Tal and Talent Pass, last season's champion, going to hand over the crown to Skirvin, and Cody Lamas, the winner for this race, as the rest of the drivers are now heading on to Pit Road, and all that stuff. So, what do you do? So until then, we got one more race in the NSL this season, and then we head off to the NSL Series. Till then, goodbye everybody.